Stephanie Daly is a codebreaker. One of a handful of people in the world who can read ancient cuneiform texts. A script so obscure, researchers are only just beginning to reveal its secrets. Cuneiform writing was a marvelous script, but it's very, very complicated. It started around 3000 BC and comes to an end around the time of Christ. Metaphors are at the heart of this writing. It's not alphabetic. It's got hundreds of signs, and every sign has several different possible readings. When you excavate these things, you have the opportunity of reading literature and other things that haven't been read before since at least the time of Christ. For more than 2,000 years, these ancient voices were lost. No one was able to read their words. Things started to change when Stephanie began studying the cuneiform on a prism at the British Museum. The prism described the life of another king named Sennacherib, who lived a hundred years before Nebuchadnezzar. We're looking at an eight-sided prism from the palace of Sennacherib. The beginning of this inscription tells you he's king of Assyria, he's king of the world, he's conquered many lands, and he gives you a rundown of his main conquests. Sennacherib lived 700 years before Christ and reigned over an empire that stretched from southern Turkey to modern-day Israel. The prism comes from the very heart of Sennacherib's capital. The whole thing would have been hidden in the wall of the palace or the foundations of the palace, so that when the palace fell down eventually, people could still see what a great king Sennacherib was. It tells you about this wonderful palace that he built, and then it tells you about the garden that he built alongside the palace. But what the prism describes sounds like something other than a typical garden. On this prism, Sennacherib says, I raised the height of the surroundings of the palace to be a wonder for all peoples. I think his description refers both to the palace and the garden. The two go together. 